In this short video, we'll introduce the idea of a random variable. To connect facts about probability that we've just gone over with probability distributions and hence with real data, we need one more ingredient and that is the idea of a random variable. A random variable is simply a number associated with each event in the sample space. For example, flipping a coin twice gives the following sample space, heads heads, heads tails, tails heads and tails tails. Examples of random variables associated with this experiment are number of heads, number of tails, square root of the number of tails, cosine of twice the number of heads, and so on. Sometimes it's important to distinguish between discrete random variables, where only a finite set of outcomes are possible, and continuous random variables, where the value can be any real number. Our simple experiments have all had discrete sample spaces, but an example of a continuous random variable could be measuring the height of a random person. Often we'll bin continuous data, as in a histogram, and we'll mostly be thinking about discrete random variables. Now we introduce the idea of a probability density function, which is the probability that a random variable has the value of x. If the random variable is discrete, this is also known as a probability mass function, though I'll usually call it a probability density function. Hopefully this diagram makes the equation clear. For any value of x, that is the random variable, the probability density function gives the probability of observing that value of the random variable. Actually, this is only strictly true for a discrete distribution, that is for a probability mass function. For a continuous distribution, like the one drawn here, the values are actually relative probabilities. However, you won't go too far wrong at this level by treating continuous and discrete distributions in the same way and thinking of the values as probabilities. In practice, you'll be working with finite data sets anyway. Related to the idea of a probability density function is the idea of a cumulative distribution function. The equation is read as f of x is the probability of observing a value of the random variable that is less than or equal to x. The, this function x is the cumulative distribution function, and the mathematical notation is much easier to use than saying that mouthful. So here x is a specific value, say 2, y is a random variable, say the number of heads, and in this case f of x is the probability of seeing two or fewer heads in one of our coin flipping experiments. Again, hopefully the figure makes this more clear. This is a plot of a cumulative distribution function. They always go between 0 and 1. x goes from the smallest possible value of the random variable to the largest possible value. Often this is from negative infinity to positive infinity, but it doesn't have to be. The value of the cumulative distribution function at x is the probability of observing a value less than x, so that as we go to the right and observations get higher, the probability to observe something less than that should grow until we get to the maximum possible value which everything is less than, and the value of the cumulative distribution is equal to 1.